Hey, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole poor light. Okay, um, it's going to be a short lesson. I'm not going to make this lesson too long, man. And um, I'm going to just land back off the the elder brother from South Carolina, Manat Zagba. He did a video, as you see on the screen, it's entitled Hebrew Israelites, I Suffer Not a Woman to Teach. Okay, and um, I didn't want to do a video on this lesson, on this topic, I should say. But, um, you know, the spirit got me doing it, man. Okay. And like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on this lesson. But, um, you know, you got some, you got majority of sisters out there, man. They don't consider what's being said in the scriptures, man. Okay, which proves that they really don't believe, man. Okay. You know, and um, salutations to the very few sisters out there that actually... You know, stay try to stay in order, man. That's not we don't gotta hear your damn voice. We don't gotta click on your YouTube channel and hear you speaking. Okay. And I really appreciate the women that don't comment at all. Okay. But if you do comment, you know, it's good that you, you know, keep it uh short and brief. Okay. And I'm gonna play a little bit of this video. Now, as you see, you got these two young uh, Israelite women, all right? They know that they're Israelites, all right? And, um, you know, they out there on the streets talking about they're going to go into it. the lesson of, you know, showing that who the word going to call it, which that's not even his real name, all right? His name is not Jesus, okay? Okay? His name is Yahweh Shai, but they're doing a lesson uh, going into how Jesus, so-called Jesus, is um really a so-called black man right which is true name is yahweh shy all right and the point i'm trying to make is you're not this is not required of you to do this man right the the, the most high got men set up to do this man and this is out of order okay and um it just shows man it just shows you man here it is we're, we're trying to get our people back in order but then you got people that you know, they didn't want to uh, take what they want out of the scriptures, man, and, and, and don't consider the other scriptures that go into, you know, what you shouldn't be doing. Okay? Sky. And you got more videos of them we speaking. Were not born there. Look at this, That's man. We were born. Look at this. That is not Madness, man. The there, was, there, was one, there was one scene where you had some nigga up. dancing. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Yeah, look, look, look at this shit, man. Look at this, look at this simp. Look at this simp over here dancing with these women, man. All right? And there ain't nothing wrong with dancing with women. I'm saying, like, come on, man. You're supposed to be representing the most high, man, and you, you're doing these worldly challenges and shit. All right? The scriptures tell you, man, folly, folly is set in great dignity, man. How long we simp ones, we love simplicity, man. This guy's, you know, he's looking like a real simp, man. You know? But um, that's that's pretty much it on that, man. I'm gonna just get these few precepts, wrap this up. All right, cause you know most of you sisters, you so-called sisters, I should say, you don't consider this scripture right here. All right, why is this scripture not being considered? I'm not gonna say why is this scripture not being addressed because I don't want to hear you women mouth. Okay. This is uh First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse thirty. It says, "As a matter of fact, Salakia, First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse thirty-three. It says, for the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in churches of all the saints. Yeah, the Most High is not the author of confusion, man. And women bring about confusion. All right, because the Most High is not dealing with." Women on on the level of you know, being being able to do what men do, man. Okay, 
you know, and, and men, you know, men, men, are, men easily get distracted by women, man. Okay. That's why we don't have any women out there with us on the streets, man. That's why we keep our women at home because brothers have women, man. But we, we, we deal with our women, you know, when we, um, when we not, in, when we not at the camp, man. Okay. But you got these other camps, they allow women to their organizations and then, you know, you get instances like what happened to that girl that got killed, man. Joy Morgan situation, man. Now I had she now had them the, that that uh, congregation that had women in there in their um organization. Instances like that wouldn't happen, man. You know, and there will be more edification going around, less confusion, you know, less adultery, because that's what's going on in these churches, man. Adultery, okay, pastors sleeping with you know guys' wives and shit like that, man. Okay. Because why? You know, the scriptures tell you, man. Right here. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 34, Let your woman keep silence in the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Okay? In other words, you women, man, you just need to shut the fuck up, man. You know, I'm going to just say it, man. Majority, you know, majority of you women, you just need to shut the fuck up, man, when it comes to you know the Bible and and and, and um, you know teaching the Bible, man. Okay. Now, if you believe, that's cool, man. You know, you want to follow along, listen to the lessons. Hey, man, YouTube is is a public platform. We can't stop you. All right. Nor do we want to. All right, but you gotta you gotta you gotta follow the orders, man. Okay. Like it says right here, I'm going to read it again. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, man. And that's another thing, too, man. Like, a lot of you women, man, you shouldn't even be on the comment boards, especially in the live streams and stuff like that, man. You know, because, like, 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 we always go, like, brothers always, you know, talk about it. You know, you women, you want to put your picture on the, you know, the, um, the thumbnail or, um, the avatar, I should say, for your, for your YouTube account. You know, we don't need to know how you look, man. We don't, we don't need to know how you look, all right? And then you got guys subscribing to these women, simps, I should say, subscribing to these women that, that, that's not even supposed to be teaching. I don't know why they got all these subscribers. You know what I'm saying? More, you know, some of you some of you women out there that, that, that watch these videos, you got more subscribers than brothers that's actually doing the work. Okay? So... Yeah, so it says, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. You see that? It is a shame for women to speak in the church. And this is an order. This is a commandment. Okay? Women are not supposed to be... It's like, yeah, I went to the wrong thing. Women are not supposed to be teaching. All right, they ain't supposed to be speaking, teaching. But what, what are these? What are these girls doing, man? You know, they're not considering these scriptures, man. That's what that's what they're doing. Okay, you know, they act like these scriptures don't exist. All right, and then you got these simps, man. They they allow this shit to happen, man. You know. Give a give a guy a little bit of box, he's willing to fucking um respect persons, man. Shit's really pissing me off, man. I'm gonna do one more precept and I'm out, man. First Timothy chapter two, verse twelve, it says, By suffer not a woman to teach, nor to observe authority over the man, but to be in silence. Okay. Now, if you truly believe in this, all right, you're supposed to consider the scripture, man, and take heed and apply it. All right. Women's supposed to be in silence, man. You ain't supposed to be teaching no men about the scriptures, man. Rebuking men, trying to correct men, telling them, no, you got to do this. You got to believe in the Lord. Just to, that ain't your job. Okay. And that's why the scriptures say a woman, she can have a believing husband, man. I mean, an unbelieving husband. Okay? 
And guess what? If he don't get it, if you, you, you explain to him the truth and he don't want to receive it, you still got to deal with that man. Okay? But you ain't supposed to be uh, usurping authority over men. Okay? Then you got these female pastors and shit like that, man. And these, you know, these churches and everything. That's complete madness, man. Okay? It says, but to be in silence. All right? So that's it, man. All right? The scriptures is plain, man. All right? There's no getting around it. There's no justifying it. There is no, you know, buts, if, ands, or buts about it. All right? Some of you sisters just need to learn how to shut the fuck up. Excuse my French. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.